Have a seat. You think I'm going to sit with my back to this motley crowd? <laughs> uh, this crowd is be touching. In a world of motley crowds, you're in Indianapolis. I think you're. I think you're going to be. I think you're going to be quite all right. So a day like today, Guy Fieri, you've been shooting diners, drive-ins, and dives. You've been doing work, getting ready for the NBA All Star Game. You come out and do this massive signing at Blend Bar Cigar where hundreds of people buy boxes of knuckle Thousand, sandwich. I think it was thousands. Millions of people showed up to buy tens of millions of boxes of knuckle sandwich cigars. We're smoking the 56 right now. You the, know where the 56 came from? I believe some people say it's your age, but I believe that's a lie. It is. It's 56 minus 20. Correct. So that's what it is. It's just we're trying to do a little mind meld with everybody and confuse them. Right. We, we bought your book, Guy on Fire, your grilling yes. book, and yes. we're like, uh, we don't know who this imposter is on the cover. Right? Old that guy. Is, that Old is guy. nonsense right there. But the question is, when you made this cigar, when you decide to go into business with Eric Espinosa, Espinosa Cigars, and make the knuckle sandwich. Right. We talked about it when we were in jail. Was this... <laughs> Was this the moment, the end of an insane day, was this the moment you were designing a cigar for, or was it for some, something else? Literally, I was designing the cigar because I wanted to smoke it. I mean, there's nothing better. Same reason I did the tequila. Making money out of it is hopefully going to happen, but the reality of it is is you do the things you love, like, like you guys do in the show. You, know, you do the things you love. You, you're hanging out. You guys seem like your buddies. Except I saw you fighting in the alley. Um, you do the things you love. You uh, surround yourself with the people you enjoy. And if you do that and you do it for the right reasons, then good things will come about. And so I always wanted to do this. I mean, this has been a lifelong dream. I, was, I remember when I first started smoking good cigars, I was about 20. Before then, yes, I did have my run of the cheap ones. But it's what you could get. And I remember when I was a young restaurant manager right out of college... Um, didn't have a lot of money. I think I made $22,000 out of school. And I would go and, you know, I had a little bit of scratch. So on Monday, my day off, I'd go down to the cigar shop called uh, Churchill's. And I would sit there with Mike, the owner. And every Monday, I'd go down and I'd pick a different cigar. And he'd introduce to me. And I'd sit there and read about it, talk to him about it, smoke it, take notes on it. And just fell in love with it. Made my first humidor myself and just kind of was always in it. And when I finally got the okay from everybody on my team, my agents and my PR and all that, because cigars weren't necessarily what everybody wanted to see me get into, then I went on the quest to find the right partner. And Espinosa not only is my brother, he's one of the greatest guys in the world. He's a philanthropist, loves what he does, knows what he's doing, doesn't cut corners, is the most legit, straight up cigar, in my opinion, cigar godfather that there is. So, and this right here is such a cool thing, because I'm getting to blend the fans of you know the Food Network, the fans of the tequila, the fans of cigars, good people that come together, and you know that's it, when that all happens, like the perfect storm, it doesn't get any better. Now, you you have a long day like this. It's at the end of a long day. You're gonna pair something with a knuckle sandwich. What do you usually like to pair your cigar with? Tequila. Yeah, now I'm a big tequila guy. That's one of the reasons I started. You know, Sammy and I started this. Um, you do what you love. And I would love bourbon, don't get me wrong. I'll drink a vodka soda all day long. I mean, not all day, maybe on the weekend. Tequila was something very special because I think that there's good tequilas, great tequilas, terrible tequilas. And we wanted to make a great tequila, additive-free, which only 7% of the tequilas in the world are additive-free. And our idea was, yeah, we make some money, cool. In the meantime, you know, Sammy is like my big brother. We get to hang out. We get to drink tequila, taste tequila, talk about tequila. Uh, go to Mexico, you know, do all that kind of stuff. So it's just kind of, you know, it's one of those things. You work hard, you play hard, you enjoy it all at one time if you can. And nobody knows more about being successful in tequila than Sammy Hagar. Quick restaurant question, and then you're out the door. With how the economy has been going, you've got restaurants all over the place. We've been at your place at the Link in, in, in Vegas before. Um, what are you feeling? What are you seeing from the consumer? Well, I think that things have changed a little bit since the pandemic. I think restaurants had to pivot a lot. We had some employment issues. Um, people started to figure out how to order at home. You know, so all the delivery services kind of blew up. People learned how to buy online, get things shipped to them, you know, that kind of stuff. We saw a lot of that with Triple D. We saw our, you know, we did some shows about people sending us food and us cooking at home. And I think that's blown up pretty good. Gold Belly's doing dynamite. Um, but I think it's on the rebound. I think the, it, it's changed a little bit. You know, the, the economy's tough, but restaurant 
You know, us restaurant owners are chameleons. We adapt to the situation, and that's what's taking place. But I got to remind people, if you love those restaurants, if you like going out, if you like having a good time, even when you don't think you should go out, take, take an extra night. Go, go support your local places. Don't go to the same place each time. Spread it around a little bit. You'll be surprised, like Triple D. You know, you'll be surprised if you don't stay on the same beaten path. You get yourself off that, you might run into some restaurants. Like, I've been to Indy a bunch of times. I haven't shot Triple D in a while, but we just showed back up, found six new restaurants that are just rocking. You guys got a real good restaurant scene here, so. It's a really yeah. good foodie town. It is. Guy Fietti, appreciate it. Get everything at EatDrinkSmokeShow.com. Come join what we're building over there. This is Eat, Drink, Smoke.